Everywhere we go, it's just people eating, people cooking, or people waiting for food. It's just all about food here. Travelling from Beijing, Nikita and I arrive in the amazing city of Xi'an, the capital of the Shanxi province. This video is entirely dedicated to food and Xi'an has some of the best in all of China. Today, Nikita and I sample some of the must-try dishes and explore the Muslim quarter of Xi'an, which has largely contributed to the city's amazing food culture. We start the tour off with this do not disturb sign. Have you seen it? We're staying in an artsy hotel, like I think it's in an art studio, and look at the cups. Oh! I was like, why? What is on the cup? It's a drip, but I mean, honestly, I thought there was a condom wrapped around the cup. Yeah. And also, there is fake books. They're not even real. That's not a book at all. Horrible fake book to have, hey? Hmm. Look how cool these lights are. And look how cool this chair is. They didn't have spoons to stir my coffee, so I just make do with what we have. We're heading out for our first look of Xi'an. Mm. We just finished a six hour trip on the bullet trains here. Yeah. And we're ready to eat. Smell, it's, it smells. It smells so nice, like the food on the well, actually not in this. Not right here, it smells like that shit here. <laughs> <laughs> this place is crazy. I want to make a prediction right now. Yes. My prediction, and she hates it whenever I do this, what? but she always thinks I'm jumping the gun. But uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to predict yes. that out of Beijing, Shanghai and Xi'an, that Xi'an is going to be my favourite city that we go to. Oh, really? Yeah. So in this bowl, we've got, I believe, leek and meat dumpling. And in this one, we've got beef dumplings in soup. You can get it three styles at this restaurant, dry or in this style, which I think is popular in Shan, where it's like, it's dumplings and they put it into like a, a vinegary kind of sauce. I want to try one. This is what I really wanted to try. Yum, 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 yum. Mm. It's very nice. It's just a very good dumpling. Well, you're right, it is super fresh. Like the herbs taste super fresh. I think with the vinegar, the vinegar makes it more fresh. Am I making things up? I could be. But it's really good. This is a very proud moment for me because my Nikita is all grown up and she's eating chili oil. I was trying to look at how to eat these because it's in soup, so I didn't know where to eat the soup. But um, so I looked at that old lady over there, and it looks like she's just eating the dumplings out of it. At first, I was like, the soup dumplings ain't doing anything for me, but now it's kind of giving me a juicy flavor, and I don't mind. Why are you laughing at me? Guys, I swear, every place we go to eat in Asia, I'm always the only white person and then other white people see me in here and I attract the white people. I was the first white person here, alright? <laughs> Tonight we're at the Muslim Quarter in Xi'an to grab some dinner. Daniel's sick so he's just going to be the cameraman tonight so you can get my lovely opinions and ratings on the food. Um, I don't know what to expect, just a whole lot of street food I think so I'm starving. Let's go. Peter, that's like 
like um, stuff with pork and some kind of sauce. Yeah, this is what I've been waiting for. I tried finding it in Beijing, but I couldn't find it. But here it's really popular. It's basically pita stuffed with um, mutton. Anyway, the way he made it was so amazing. I was, my mind was blown every time he put it in the bag, even though he did it a thousand times. Oh, this has been my number one thing I wanted to try. Is it good? And he like spreads chili oil on it and then like pours juices on the meat so it doesn't go dry. It is so nice. Oh, it is a little bit of a kick at the end. It's so good, yeah. It's so simple, but it's so nice. But you look at it from afar and you think it's pretty small, but it's actually pretty big. It's good, it's nice and savory. Yeah, I love it. It's a good way to start off our evening eating street food. I'm gonna give this one a four and a half out of five. Mm. I really liked it. So I just did um, what white people do to me and I saw some white people ordering this, so I was like, I'll try it. <laughs> um, I don't know what it is, it looks like a burrito. It's nothing I've ever seen on the list because I've been researching what food to get, but yeah. none of them say this. And this is the only place that I've seen even making it. Yeah, I was gonna say, lots of these stalls have all the same food and this one like was the first one that I saw. Mm. And I have no clue what's in it. It looks like a jelly burrito, like mm. the skin is like jelly. It is really jelly. It's translucent. Mm. Um, there's a bit of coriander in there, just let everyone know. Um, it's okay besides the coriander. It tastes like, it's yeah. like a banh mi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's got like the cucumber and carrot in it. It's very popular. Can I try it? I'll try it. Yeah, I'll just try, try it. Mmm. You like it? Yeah. It's very interesting. I really like the wrapper of it. There's something really crispy and crunchy in there that mm. I really like. Mm -hmm. I think it's not. Yeah. It also has sesame seeds in it, really nice. More? Yeah, it kind of is like a pop roll. She's right. Am I right? Yeah. Very unique. I love it. Yeah, I like that about it. Hang on. Mm. I see everyone walking around with pomegranate juice, so I got one for myself. It's an interesting scene. <laughs> you rip up these tiny little pita breads, and then they say to do it really small, so that it soaks up all the juices. You know who would be the worst people to eat this with? Who? People with dirty fingernails. If you got dirty fingernails, I ain't sharing my bowl of noodles with you. You know what I mean? Yeah. People with dirty fingernails are the grossest people on earth. So, I'm just saying. Name something grosser. No, but people with dirty fingernails, you know when there's like a black thing under their nails? That's gross, man. That was me as a kid, but I'm an adult now and I've grown up and mine are clean. You see that? Clean fingernails. If you're an adult with dirty fingernails, man, you're the worst people on earth. Be serious. You want to see my favorite site in a restaurant? I'll show you. It is the coriander on the side of the dish, but it smells not in the dish. We'll try some mutton with the bread. Very nice. I've never had like a lamb broth before, but I really like it. Like you can taste the meat juice in every bite. Like it's in the broth, it's in the meat, it's soaked into the noodles, it's soaked into the bread, and the bread, I can tell why it was like kind of hard. So it doesn't go soggy. And it's not soggy at all. It's really nice and chewy. Um, this was all Nikita said I was allowed to have, because she wants all the rest. She gave me this little bowl. And it's not even full, it's half full. Look at her bowl compared to mine. You're right, it's very, very fatty broth. It's kind of like, it doesn't taste like ramen, but it's that same kind of fattiness and thickness to it. And then the um, the bread pieces kind of taste like gnocchi. It's like gnocchi. It's like firm like gnocchi. Yeah, because it's kind of doughy. Yeah, very, very, um, very lamby. I'm very hard. This will go down well in the meantime. Can I have more? Yeah. Liar, so I'll give you more. Yeah. Guys, he just has a separate bowl because he's sick, okay? Not because I'm a hog. 
or a little pig. Don't put that in. <laughs> Here we go. We're at our last stop for food. We're getting Biang Yang noodles. Bang Bang noodles. Biang Biang noodles. <laughs> I don't know, it was really hard to order, so I hope we've ordered the right thing. And we also got another, um, what's it called? Oh, it's called a Chinese hamburger. Another Chinese hamburger, because that was so good yesterday. Mmm. 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 Definitely different to the one yesterday. It tastes way more unhealthy. Um, but I still love it. Mmm. <laughs> I put chili oil on my one because this one didn't put chili oil on it. Whoa, that's so hot. You know what? Chili oil is probably my favorite sauce. Are you sure about that? Oh my god. If I die, it'll be worth it. You'll okay? regret this later. <laughs> Will I though? Will I? Yeah, later when you have to go toilet. The difference is this one's so flaky. I think I might like this one more than yesterday's one. This one's way more juicy. Yeah, so this one was a bit dry to me. Yeah. I think this could be um my favorite dish of Shiano. It's like it's just a meat sandwich. What's not to like about meat sandwiches with chili oil? Nikita said that's all I'm allowed to have, and that's for her. And if I touch her bowl, she's gonna kill me. You didn't. You did. She's a killer. Let's try it. Hey, yeah. Smells a tank. Textures like literally like lasagna sheets, but better. Anything else you want to say? <laughs> Just that it's delicious. <laughs> I love pasta that's super thick, like Papadali pasta, and this is like next level. So it's more like pasta than noodles? I reckon. Oh, it's similar. It's similar. Like, it's in between. You kind of use like a lasagna sheet. And the meat's very tender. I love it. I got a giant bowl. Alright, I'll try some noodle. Alright. One eternity later. Mm. Oh, that meat! It's good. Right? What flavor is it? Mm. Yeah, and it kind of has like something sweet, some sweetness to it, but it's so nice. <laughs> and some greens to be healthy. Mm. I like this dish. And it's white meat. <laughs> is it? I told you guys, I always bring the white people in. Anyway, I really like this. Um, ooh, do I like it better than the the, the bread noodles? They're equal to me. Like, depending on your mood, I could go either way. I could this one. Yeah. Yep. Because the other one was like ramen, but so it made me feel like ramen. <laughs> So I was sad that I wasn't eating ramen, but this one's really nice. It's like a unique dish. I do usually like dry noodles more than soup noodles, but that just goes to show the other soup noodles was really good because I don't usually like soup noodles. I put some chili oil on it. Let's see if it's better. Let's try. Mm, now you have put chili oil on it. Really? Makes it like really nice and oily in a good way. Add more flavor. I've noticed the chili oil here isn't that chili, it's more just flavour. Because even Nikita can eat the chili oil, which means it's not that chili. It's good flavour though. Delicious flavour. That's all now. You, you may you may shut up. <laughs> <laughs>